come back and hang on. There's a giant size plate. Jim? Rotunda. It should be rather nice to listen to a band play there one day. You keep buying cheaper places to buy some beer. Actually, that's the, the club boutique. Hotel Annex, I think. I bought some Forex down the road at the Club Boutique Hotel. And there he's just in getting some new socks. Oh, right, oh. Catching up on all the news from Francis there in Broome and she's going to fly home from Perth and get her grandmotherly fix. The memorial is of a design that is assisted to a fountain in Wellington, New South Wales and is the only one constructed in the world as a war memorial to the Great War expressed in this design. used to have three ceremonial cannons around it, but before the Second World War they were buried in the sand dunes nearby and they've been lost to eternity. Mary's still chatting to Francis in Broome. The coffee shop there has been abandoned and owners have moved on. We just crossed Tewan Creek where we camped in a travelling stock route. Is it called Tewan Creek? Yeah, it was Tewan Creek and uh, we were going north in 2008. And it was just as dry as this. We passed the dual wheel sprinter back up the road and had a chat. They were doing 110. I reckon that cruise is like a jet plane. Coming down to the border of New South Wales, I saw a wedgie or an eagle on a, um, a dead roo and it didn't move, it just stayed there watching us as we drove past. Every half a K all the way along the highway, plus even a, an injured one. UK back there. Bridge that I had never heard of. 
just crossed into New South Wales. Uh, no, not a fuel stop, is it? We're about to overtake somebody. Kidman's. Oh, we just parked, and this is the Kidman Caravan Park. Which backs onto the the Darling and where the Jandra just toot its horn over there. We had a cruise on the Dick Jandra in 2008. So we just about walk over to the river from here. I just missed the, the toot. And we run the fridge all afternoon, it's sitting on naught so. We'll have a nice cold beer before we bother setting up the, uh, the little old trusty scrubby van. There's all these sparkling clean new caravans everywhere around us. They've all come from the south, Tasmania, New South Wales, you name it. There goes the Jandra, just tooted. They could go for a walk around the levee bank. Well, 17 minutes later, in the rose garden, New caravans pulled in while we were setting up. They're everywhere. They're all spick and span. Had a lovely long chat with one lady who's been to the Fink. We've still got the old maps. Not sure yet whether we use red or blue. This is where you get your firewood. Maybe it's free firewood. And that's where you, I think you have a, a meeting later and they do around the fire dampers and things like that. There's a few campers with um, Max tracks. Mary's just chatting to Maxine. He just phoned and we got a nice text from Jane as well. They had a lovely concert with Joe's down at Wollongong. There's a plane flying from somewhere going west in the setting sun. Where would they be going if they're flying west? We'll get a, um, a sunrise photo, I think. And all these guys who are gone by the time we're packed up, they're hanging out over the road with their shiny vans. There's even a, a clean-looking A-van there. 
Oh, it's sunrise at the Kidman camp. That's where they have their little poetry readings three times a week and Thursday tonight and other nights. You can hear their inverted heater going. I'm glad we didn't park next to it. The, the Joan clone and the van from Gilgandra, the one off prototype. And she was very chatty. And his spare wheels drop down, hinges and drops down from there, one on each side. Very clever. We got barbecues on the side and it's a prototype van as well called the Eagle. It's a um, emu bushes. So miners. It's all go in grey nomads land. They're shuffling back from the showers in their little booties and beanies, like I have one. Screwing up their eagles and jacos and various models. The A van from Tasmania. Oh, you got it wound up all right. Lots of people doing their washing. Oh, a mighty river red gums sprout again beside the mighty darling. And around here to the, the old Chandra. Very good story by old thumb. Thomas Mitchell, poet and inventor, which you can read about on Flickr, and the National Dictionary of Biography. You may not see the darling again, actually. Feed. We saw that motorhome that uh, was towing the little car. Well, the black old van might have been coming from a different direction this time, so there's a, a few vans. There's a pop-out Mercedes van back at the Kidman's. Now we're having a lovely coffee down beside the Darling. And we've got lots of video of all this that we haven't watched yet from 2008. We'll have to dig it out. I 
this lovely green park like last time behind the levee. There's a choice residence just there. And there's the mighty darling. And the Jandra, the ferry <coughs> from the caravan park. You could just see it, the roof and the chimney as it sailed past and tooted. And a couple of locals fishing. Catching, catching abbeys. And I think that's where the, the old steam engine is down there. Near there somewhere anyway. In that shed. Let's see, Rotary Park. That's the stainless steel loose. Constantly running. There are lots of TV cells on the rooftops in Burke. Wouldn't you be rather wagging school and fishing like Huckleberry? For lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, and intersex people, the party's candidate for. It's looking across to Mount Oxley that we drove up eight years ago and we're just coming up to the uh, the Burke Cemetery I think up here where Fred Hollows is buried. It's a Bogan River at Ningen it's in flood and it's going to rise some more tonight this is just coming in to Ningen on the Barrier Highway, or the start of it. There's the railway bridge. It's the caravan parks over there where we stayed years ago. And that's just up or downstream, I'll have to check. The park benches and the uh, launching spot. We bought a local newspaper back there at a little country town where we, we reported the little accident. I think this might be just bursting its banks. Now I'll have to come back when the sun's shining. It shows a hundred years since the Bogan Shire was formed. The Bogan River, and then it became a construction site. And all the rainfall is marked out on the bottom. Well, we left our little unhappy motel in Narrow Mine where they had a piss week shower for Mary and the manager didn't know. And now we're down at Yagara, which we left to come back to in Angler. Have a wander around the craft stalls and photograph all the murals. What's happening? And yeah, just very, very. In the back way of uh, Canoundra. Just finding our way home now through some of these back streets to, to get to Cowra. Well, Smokey's done 449,000. We followed the GPS from Yugara to the back ways of Denoundra. And now it's raining, as you can see, and we're at 30k to Cowra. In the northern parts of the central west slopes, they are starting late tomorrow and into much Sunday. Uh, we will see um, it's 
Our first traffic lights from months trying to get our way through um, Cowra. I didn't realise that you can actually drive down and cross the Lachlan River just beside the main bridge. Uh, this might be our last river crossing. This might be our last river crossing, yeah. apart from the, right. the Yass River. This is just right. for memory's sake, one of our last river crossings right. across the mighty Lachlan. This is our Cowra, or in Cowra. Not much water now. The river Going across to the McDonald's toilets. Our last, um, our last river crossing. River crossing for the trip. Uh, so in he's the rain. done it twice. Yeah. Cowra. It's getting a bit bumpy. <laughs> we never knew it was here at all. Um, yeah. Just past the police car coming out of Borua, and there's another creek crossing as we come into Borua on our last stretch for home. We might even come out here. And angler and see the uh, running of the rams one day as hard and yes 100k to go I just noticed coming through Borowa they had a, um, a bunya pine just over there on the main street never knew they grew down this far south and here we come through the autumn leaves of the poplars just out of town in the rain Ten to three. Uh, for peak out traffic and all the election notices on the highway. Thirty-one days. Thirty-one days. 